Other than there, and God's servant is testifying about his ministry. I'm a witness by the grace of God from that place there. I mean, that's just the truth. When you say a man going through something, he's going somewhere. So don't be afraid if you are going through. You will go through, you won't go down. Because you have to go through to break through. You will go through. Amen. I want us to pray this prayer. It's not just for today. It's for this week. Because he was speaking, I heard God say, it's birthing giants in God's power by your mission. He's batting Star Wars. He's batting captains of industries. He's batting solution providers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this scripture came into my mind. Isaiah 42, 16. And I said, if I didn't bring my glasses, I didn't know I would be able to read it. Praise Lord. But I carry my brother's it. I am addicted to this thing. This is my drug. This is my cocaine. It's my, I think it has names now. I don't know the other names. You know the name. <laughs> Glory to God. I want us to pray Isaiah for Jesus. Can I put it on the screen? We are read it here. And I want you to pray meaningfully for these seven days. Monday to Sunday. Not just for tonight. I see a picture of the seven days that there's going to be a forceful release Amen. of brand new achievers Amen. in this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You build something bigger than this, you are building right in the city something bigger than that. Amen. Because the Lord that located us here is locating you. Amen. In your own place. Amen. We have been associated together for, for long. Isaiah 42 16 says, I will bring the blind by the way they never knew. Let me see it. Is there? I want to read New King James. I think it's giving me King James. I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will lead them in paths. They have not known. Can I have a man in the house? Yeah. I will make darkness light before them. Yeah. And crooked places straight. Yeah. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Yeah. I want to lift up your right hand. Say, God of this commission. I believe this prophetic word. Coming from your throne tonight concerning this convention and I agree with you I am the blind you are talking about in your own amazing way and grace bring me by yourself to that way I never knew pray that prayer very quickly pray it the way you alone know I don't know you alone know I don't know bring me from now in these seven days. Bring me from now. prayer quickly. In And Away. No ways. Away. That's a way. That you open unto you by the grace that is flowing already. The peculiar grace. Strange grace. In the name of Jesus. Say, the God of this commission. Lift up your right hand. It's very important. God of this commission. In your own faithfulness. Lead me. In paths. That have not known. So there's a way. There are paths. Pray that prayer. God of this commission particularly. This is the altar of this commission. Lead me by your spirit in paths 
in parts that I've never known. Me. In Jesus' name, can you pause a bit? Pause a bit. I want to assure you what we are praying is already happening. God led me to Job 28 years ago. Job, when we were to Lee, we've not found ring road. He said, there's a path that the fowls of the air, they don't know. There's a path the vultures' eyes have not seen. There's a path that the lions webs, they have not trodden. There's a path that the fierce lions, they have not gone by. I began to pray it. Never knew it would be dump site. Nobody saw that place. Not the governor, not the executive. They were asking me, Secretariat, but how did you know? I said, I don't have answer. The answer is here. So pray that prayer. You will never know. You are, you are speaking for to what it will be in reality. My father, my father, <laughs> God of this commission, make darkness light before me in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray it as it's written. Whatever darkness you alone know has been besetting my life. Begin to make it light. 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 In this convention, in this many, these seven days, every darkness that I didn't even know is been uh, what is setting barriers in my life. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father. My father, my father. God of this commission. As you have said it. Let every crookedness. Begin to be straightened. Concerning my future. Prayer, prayer. Every crookedness. Let there be a straightening. Every crookedness. Every crookedness, every crookedness, in the name of Jesus, say this is I will do for them. Say, my father, I believe you have done this for me. Come on, say it. And let's read Romans eight twenty six. He say, we don't know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Holy Spirit helps us. Say, Holy Spirit of God, help me right now as I pray in every language. Begin to pray the Spirit concerning the prayers. Alabarebos uli alaba. Ningalimbro desile kataye. Ande katise. Rata muli kasa yade. If you have not baptized in the Spirit, please see the the pastors or the senior pastor after the meeting. Lepo reza katibo zana yele. Ete rizete. Alaba raba taba kalibo ziri alaba. In Jesus mighty name. Come on, thank God for that. Let me congratulate five people around you. Five. Grace is five. Say congratulations. Say congratulations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and take your seats tonight. Glory to God. It's so wonderful to be here tonight. Like I said, I've not come to preach. I'm so... Uh, 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 I'm becoming a part of God's power evangelical mission. By the grace of God. <laughs> By the grace of God. Hallelujah. I salute God's servant, Pastor Prince Will Afolabi tonight again. I salute your courage, your steadfastness, your tenacity. Salute it. It's very rare. You have a great man here. There are pastors and there are pastors. This is a Christian. There are pastors that are not Christians. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was telling somebody. I said, we went to a wedding a couple of years ago here by Lagos. I was one driving. And as we got to the traffic junction, we were waiting for the traffic to change. A madman, thank God that we wind up. A madman just approached the car and it's, you know, it's a, it's a jeep. He was hitting the ground. You are a pastor. You are a pastor. And we were scared. A madman. You'll be recognized. Yeah. So I know like sons of scared, but I say, Jesus, I know Paul. I know Abraham. 
Say they know me. I'm always waiting for witches. I wait for them. Because we are the head of witches. He's the head of principalities and powers. Come on. Come on. Father, help us again tonight. And as I knew the first lady, God bless you wonderfully for supporting our pastor, our daddy, the apostle over this commission. The Lord will renew you constantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. What you have found in each other will grow in each other. The Lord will bless your children, bless your home. You will get the reward for this labor. In the name of Jesus. I want to assure the pastors to the men of God and every member of God's power. Please stay. Be rooted here. There are too many lies outside. I can guarantee you experience a God you cannot explain. Here in this place. Hallelujah. Father, we wait on you tonight. Lord, help us within the remaining time. Come be with us, Lord. Speak in us your word. For there's no other way to know real life. Open up our hearts today. Share on us your light. Your light. Share on us your light. We now welcome you, Holy Spirit. To come and transform us. Bidding us a new life. Mold us your way. Transform every heart that the glory returns back to the Father in the name of Jesus tonight, tonight, tonight. Lord, breathe upon everyone tonight. Every hearer of your voice, not my voice, come and breathe a fresh breath of life. I bring about a total overhauling of every destiny. That the least, every, every position tonight will be the very least. In the name of Jesus. You are the unchangeable changer. Use your word briefly tonight. You don't need too much time. We need too much of you. Let there be a blessing. And let the honor return back unto you. In Jesus' name. We are looking at two questions last night. What is number one? Someone of you having a testimony. Someone is having a testimony already from last night. Because I saw the clip. Even from the clip, I was being affected. And he was asking for a copy. I think you have to pay for that copy. Before I send it to your WhatsApp. I will send you on the way. How peculiar is grace? How many people got the answer yesterday? Peculiar because of purpose. Grace is peculiar because we are peculiar before God. Don't mind what anyone is calling you, your boss, your spouse. You are not that person. They don't know you. Because they didn't make you. <laughs> so whatever, whichever way you have been addressed negatively, they don't know you. Yes, sir. Stop reacting. Because when you are reacting, you are agreeing with what they are saying. Just tell them, you don't know me. Because you didn't make me. The one that knows you, knows even what you are thinking about yourself, you must find out what you know about yourself. Because you are much more than what you think you are. And that's what grace is the purpose of God. And I think we went all that, that our destiny is in our difference. I don't like being, being lost in the crowd. No. I've been telling the, those God has been bringing me across, we have a tower destiny. You know tower? Cocoa house. You see Cocoa house throughout the city. They will see you. From far, they will see you. Your life is no longer hidden. Invisible to wickedness, but visible to glory. Visible.
to prosperity, visible to blessing, visible to progress. Hallelujah. And the second question that quickly, the Holy Spirit will help us tonight. How do I connect with this peculiarity? Because what this conversation is about, all about is about the strangeness of grace. Grace is not common. And grace is not a license to sin. It's a preference. It's a preference. Hallelujah. It's a preference that gives you a reference. That's what grace is. God prefers to, and how was Daniel promoted? Because an excellent spirit, he was preferred because an excellent spirit was finding him. They will find it in your office. I told one of my pastors is now, is now with uh, Dan Gote. He was PNG. P- I said, you want them to promote you? Then stop closing the time they are closing. You have to be different. I said, when others close, you sit down. Let them see you. When they see you, they say, this is part of the management. They promoted him. Not only that, God gave him an idea. He constructed, he drew assembly line. They sent a letter from U.S. P&G to him. He constructed an assembly line that will limit some things. I mean, God gave him an idea. I said, don't join union. I'm not against union, but I told him, if you want to be promoted, want to be a manager, senior manager, there's promotion coming for some. <laughs> Connecting is very important. Grace does not just happen. No. God, you are a favor. No. That's the lowest, that's elementary definition of grace. Too elementary. It's more than that. It's the power of God. It's everything. Grace is everything of God. Jesus. The Bible says that the Lord came by Moses. John 1 17. Grace. And truth came by Lord Jesus Christ. And who is grace? Jesus himself is the grace of God. Personified. Glory to God. So how do we address it quickly? How is the Holy Spirit leading us? Very, very short time. Now listen. Before you can get help in the natural or favor, they must see something visible about you. Am I right? People are moved to help you by how they see you. Yes or no? Either physically or whatever, or by your merit or whatever, but not with God. The grace of God does not flow that way. No. And that's the peculiarity of it. The grace of God flows your direction based on how willing you are. Write it down and put how willing in capital. How willing you are. Please follow me. I won't be long. How willing you are, how willing you are, you find grace to help from the point of your will, not the point of your faith. <laughs> I'll tell you two stories. One is mine, one is another in the Bible. The point of your will, God counts your will as the beginning of your action. God does not see externally, He sees inside. It's not carried away by your smile, by your brushing the floor. No, you may be brushing the floor and be complaining. This is our pastor self. Eh? I'm more than this. Me, that's permanent secretary. Eh? Go and permanent there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. But God sees your way, sees your heart, sees your mind. And that's why it's strange. But what about faith? Ephesians 2 8 is so clear. He said, By grace we are saved. How many people know that scripture? Wave like this, you know it. Oh, not many people. Ephesians 2 8 says, By grace we are saved through faith. How many people are born again in their house? You are born again? Or oh, you are not too sure? Okay, glory to God. By grace we are saved through faith. Not by our own effort. It is the gift of God, not of works, so that there's no boasting. Glory to God. So you will think that it's all about faith for grace to flow. Yes and no. Yes, because what grace makes available, faith makes possible. It's my, I don't want to speak too much English. How many people understand me? Good. 
I want to be careful. Listen tonight. Your faith cannot work outside of your will. It cannot work. And that's why many people, their faith is not working. They believe. They say, Pastor, but I've prayed. You have given it. But they are not there. Why? Their will. Their will, according to the Bible. Many believe the word of God, but few are willing to cooperate with God and see it work. It is possible, but it is not easy. I think you heard him. Many are not willing. Few are even willing. Very few. And that's why, the, but God has laid the standard, his covenant. In Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, he says, if ye are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Come on, shout hallelujah. And the land does not mean it by the land, though, no. I mean, I gave testimony of people that they just called them from the U.S. from abroad without any contact. It's part of the land. You start to eat the good of the land. Yeah. Your amen is good. But I wish you didn't say that amen quickly. Because your amen are dangerous. Praise God. That's what I tell people. After amen, say, I believe. Say, I receive. Because your amen are so religious. Seriously. I hate religion. Oh, pastor, what's religion? Religion is man looking for where God is. Christianity is God looking for where man is. It's opposite. Religion is looking for but along, along that, that's religion. Christianity, Christianity is along. That's Christianity. You came from heaven to earth to show us the way. Am I right? You will see more and more. If you are willing, not if you are smart. Not if you are prayerful. Prayer is good. Prayer is very good. But may I submit to you? Not if you are prayerful. Because if you are prayerful and you are not willing, I mean, you get frustrated. You start to wonder. Oh, no, I don't know. If I go to solo, I go to Yano, he knows what I'm going to say. That's why he asks even to give you prayers. I don't pray. I pray what God tells me to pray. That's why what I gave you. If I pray the scripture, I pray the word. Praise God. This, if you are willing, not if you are fastful. You fast, 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 fast. Someone told me that I fasted for 100 days to marry. I said, if I did that, in a skeleton, my wife will marry you. <laughs> Is it not told me? Am I no more than this? Are you there? You can't even fast. You can do that once. You get a, is it six packs or seven packs? They call Nami one pack. Come on, shout hallelujah. Not if you are serviceful. I mean, you are in the choir, in the ushering, in the this thing. No. If you are willing. If you are willing. And beloved of God, not if you are able. Not even if you are able. If you are willing, God does not need your ability. He supplies grace to make you able. So let me give you another definition of God, of grace. I gave you one yesterday. I'm giving you another. Please write it down. What is grace? Grace is God's willingness to use his power on our behalf. That's another definition. Yesterday, I say, grace is God's power working in a person's life to make him what he has destined and designed him for. What are you so they are still together. Now we are advancing and you will advance more. Many of God are coming. You will hear more. You will hear more this week and you won't lose any of what you are going to hear. Grace is God's willingness to use his power. Willingness. Come and say willingness. Come on, shout willingness. Yeah. Come on, yell, yell willingness. Yeah. Nobody forces God to do what he does. He's just willing. He told Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. He said, I love you because I love you. God did not give any reason why he loved Israel. Because Israel was the smallest nation. Look at the map of the world. Israel is like a dot. 
Compare with Russia. Compare with America. Compare with India. I mean, what are you doing with these small nations? I just love them. Ask your husband, how many people are married in the house? Ask your husband, how many get to say, my dear, why do you love me? Me, no find reason. So pray ahead before you ask him. Why do you love me? If he has a reason, it is no love. Did you get me? Love is just love. I love this man of God. It's, it's so handsome. Can we appreciate our pastor? Yeah. Hallelujah. If he's not a pastor, he'll be a UP. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. I just love him. Why do you love him? I just love him. I mean, we, 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 we you know, my spirit, we, we have a kindred spirit. I don't have to love everybody. Oh, Pastor, but God says, I'm not saying that. I'm preaching. So don't catch me on that. I do with me because, ah, but Pastor, God said, I know God said. Now, let me fast track it. Grace is God's willingness. Can we say it together? Say, Grace, Grace. is God's willingness to use His power on my behalf. So, your faith must be accompanied with willingness to allow grace to flow. Because grace is the ability of God. Available. Always available. I will show you. Always available. Everyone has grace in the house. But few of us exercise our will to connect. Few of us. When God spoke to me, you'd be on Ring Road. At least we went to about five places. Joyce B, there was, we are redeemed is now. There's four plots of land there that we are negotiating. Two families. One said, we didn't have money. One said, we should bring money quickly. The other said, we can pay later. We carried the soil of that place to my office. Me and her pastor, we closed the door. We put our hand in the soil. One member came in and said, hey. So we throw the soil. So I didn't say that we are doing juju. We have to throw the soil away. We carry the soil of the place. We went to another place where Equa is now, opposite Mobile. They used to sell coke there. So I told my wife, I'd be pricing coke. Why I would be moving my carib, I was praying. When they look at me, we would say, Oh, God, she. We just ran from the place. So we didn't get there just like that. No, 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 no. Them just shut it. There are others. It's willingness. So you just don't believe you must be willing to act your faith. To be willing. If your willingness, as God is concerned, is an action. It's still in your mind. You have not moved, but you are willing. You are eager. God counts on it and makes you able. I begin to see results. You begin to discover ways. Look at the prodigal son. I love that story. In Luke chapter 15. He told the father, give me my portion. He was a younger son. I love his boldness. In fact, he killed the father more or less because you share property after death. But the father gave him because of love. And he wasted it. But when he got to the bottom of everything, he was even pig's food. He could not get to eat. He made a statement. In verse 18, I want to read it. Luke 15, 18. Can you give me? Can you please? I don't have it here. He said, I will arise and I will go to my father and I will, I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against seven and before you. Verse 19. Quickly, please. Roll it. Roll it. 19. And I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your higher servants. Ah, this man had no pastor, no counselor, no disciple. But he came to himself. Somebody's coming to himself tonight. He came to that. He had a We used to sing one song. Okay. He could. He could. He could. He could. He could. He 
gbogbo ju soke funran wo se anu fun mi to ba je ese mi lo poju omo de lo nse mi o that's what clap for me now we show you the bridge of the kingdom hallelujah that was on the mountain that was on the mountain the guy said that look my friends are calling me they call me names to god if it's my sin just forgive me that's what the prodigal son I will he set his way. I know what happened. I want to go to it quickly. And the Bible says he arose to go to Father. In his rising, five things happened immediately. Number one, is there in the scripture? The Father saw him afar off. Say number one. He ran to him. Say number two. He embraced him. Say number three. And he kissed him. Say number four. I missed one out. I need the scripture. Five steps. The father took. And that's grace. The father saw him. So the father, God is waiting for you. I'm telling you tonight. The father saw him. Why? Because he has been looking. On my day. On my day. So the moment he saw him, he ran. And can you give me? No, the father, the father, the father. Please give me. Uh, when he was still a great thank you, awful. His father saw him say number one. Yeah, that's what I miss. He had compassion on him. <laughs> that's mercy. And say number two. And he ran. Number what? And fell on his neck and kissed him. Come on, shout hallelujah. That's grace. Strange. Is he stop at that? <coughs> he commanded after. He said five things again. Give me verse 22. Verse 22 quickly, please. 22. And the father said to his servants, bring out the best robe. Say number one, help me. Put it on him. And he put a ring on his hand. And put sandals in his feet. Roll it to 23. Please. And bring the fatted calf. And kill the calf. God is waiting for you. Come on, shout I said, God is waiting for you. Jesus did not tell that parable for fool. He's talking about me and you. Heaven is waiting for your lifting, for your promotion, for your shining, for your rising, for your changing, for your transformation. That way we see you see with the card. They say, you do the key like this. Because you come through the work of your hands, through your brain, through your will. Hallelujah. Let me fast, fast, eat very fast. Glory to God. That is strange. Let me give you my own, just one word. When God came into ministry, I had a word from Lagos. It was from um, one of these prophets. And he said, you are a cake not turned. You are a cake. He said, Ephraim, Ephraim. You are a cake not turned. I said, Lord, what is this? Just as if you are going to Hosanna praise. I said, what you have learned where you are will not, fulfill, will not work for you in the assignment. I said, what else? Where God pointed me to was Ibado. Listen, church. I was I won't tell the name of the ministry, church. In fact, it's at the end of the town, not here. I was driving from Gawan Nestate on Sunday to Ibadan to learn. Every Sunday. I never met the pastor. One of the Sundays I met him, I said, Brother, I've not seen you. I said, I've been coming. He said, Where's your place? I said, from Lagos. Lewot, Lagos. These things are not cheap, spiritual things. Not cheap. It needs your will. It takes a heart to make a mark in life. Or you get your breaking point, you can't break through. It's through death you get life. Well, we want this easy. It's not easy. Success is not easy. Accomplishment is not easy. And it's hundred percent. It's hundred and ten percent of. It must take the whole of you to see the true you. In life. Hallelujah. 
I'm still waiting for you to contact me about how to lend to nations so I can earn some money from you. Hey, you pay. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, listen tonight. Pastor, so that means that when your will is set, the way gets in view. Anytime your will is set, tell yourself, I will. I was there wanted to go to Lagos. They don't have They say, go to challenge. Tell yourself, I must get to Lagos. It's silly. It's strange. Let me tell you. The word of God is not for gentlemen. It's for rugged. Rugged. You have to be rugged. Are you with me? It's not for careful people. And it's not for careless people. Faith is not trying to believe. Maybe something will happen. Faith is a daring to believe. Even if nothing happens. Can I repeat? Faith is not trying to believe. God. That something happens. It's a daring. You dare. Even if nothing will, ha nothing will happen. You still dare. I'm going to, you persist until you possess. Thank God for what he said. It's persistence. Everything about God is fire. It's not cold. Oh Lord, help us. We, I ran up, I ran up. I'm, I'm almost through. Are we still together? Where is my will, Pastor? Man is a triune. Man is a spirit. Has a soul. Listen, the body. The soul itself is triune, like Trinity. The soul has emotion. That's our feelings. What we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste. That's emotion. The soul to has intellect, what we know, knowledge. And the soul has a will. And that is where the power is, the will. That's where God does not touch is willing to act. He wants you to, to be willing to connect. Is will. Is will. So faith is generated in the heart which heart man believes. Will is generated in the mind to set your will. After you have facts. You are not setting it on name to something. If God said it, huh, I do, I'm not doubting it. After yesterday, I should do operation. I said, no. I said, not this body. But that no is not just a no. Uh -uh. It took prayers. So I'm not saying a real time. Like my, my, my house, the soil of my day knew that somebody prayed. Rolling on the ground outside. So that this body will not be touched. Companies looking for every scripture in the Bible that has to do with healing. You don't get that somebody pray for me. I don't think I've ever asked someone to pray for me. Because I'm not fighting God. He's my father. I'm going to ask someone to go to my father. My father, your father. No. It's religion. It's not bad if you're a baby Christian. But not when you know. See, those that know their God shall be so called So I'll do what? And do exploit. You do exploit. Glory to you. Now listen quickly. Eh? Willingness is exercise in the mind. Listen. I want to say three things quickly. There are many steps you might have taken which you didn't up to now. Not because you are not able, but because you are not willing. I'm telling you, if I'm speaking to you, note it. Number two, there are many opportunities you, must, you might have missed. Not because you could not take advantage of them, but you are not willing. You're not willing. You don't take risk. Without risk, no venture, no success. Same time, like yesterday. Okay. Number three, there are many thoughts, many ideas, many inspirations God has put in your mind. Can I have yes in the house? I'm talking to some people here. The people who come to me in church, eh, eh, pastor, eh, I'm looking for a shop. I'm, I'm looking for a shop, so pray that I get money. I say, wait, is this shop you want or money? You don't look like it. If it's a shop, I pray God will give you a shop. Say, but where, are we, where is it going to get the money? I say, get a shop first. Give God something to do. Some people are confused. If you want a shop, 
Look for shop. But what of money? He will answer. You'll be shocked that the moment you see shop, money will come. You'll be shocked who will remember you. It could even be a passerby. It could even be the one that has the shop. It's okay, don't pay. Yet. Moving. There's nothing. There is no secret. What God can do. What is done for others. He will do for you. I don't want to continue that song. It's no secret. He will do it for you. What's the good news tonight as I round up? The good news is that though God has a will for your life, He will not force that will on you. He's waiting for you to be willing. What does He do? He helps us to be willing. How? Philippians chapter 2. He gave us the Holy Spirit. That's one of the work of the Holy Spirit. To engineer our will. Philippians 2, 12 and 13. I can read that to you. Are we sit together? Say, therefore, my beloved, as you always obey, not as in my presence only, but now and more in my absence. Now, listen. Work out your own salvation. Don't give out. No pastor can work it out for you. We can only teach you. You're just going to do the work. It's for you. Work it out with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. You see that God working in you. I said you see that God working in you. So tonight, it will surprise you that even in giving, give offerings, let me shock you. God measures your service, your sacrifice, every giving according to your will. Second Corinthians say twelve. Let me give you quickly. I'm going to round up. We're going to pray now. See what God says. Say pastor speak. Say pastor speak. The Bible says, if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to what you have, not what you don't have. A willing mind. In a former church years ago, Living Faith Church, under the very Bishop David Oedipo. Wanted to move to right job at that time. And they said we should pledge. I was willing. I pledged an amount which I didn't have. And someone was mocking my pledge, a staff. And Bishop was passing by. It was that person that came to tell me and rebuked him. So the person came to apologize to me. Now listen, what I pledged, after that, God just opened our way. We gave three times what we pledged. I was willing, not able. Then God supplied the ability. He will supply yours. I say we supply yours. I say we supply yours. Finally, finally. Peculiar grace flows to those who are ready to walk away. From whatever or whoever is not leading them to where God is. Search your heart tonight. I want to close on this. Stand on your feet, everyone. Peculiar grace works. I listen to me. It flows to those who are ready to walk away from whatever is not leading them to where God is. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Say the grace of God that brings salvation. Please stand on your feet. Please stand on your feet. We are closing on that. Has appeared to all men. What does it say? It's a teaching grace. He teaches us to deny ungodliness. Deny ungodliness. Roll it, roll it, roll it to 12. And roll it. Hallelujah. 12. Ungodliness and worldly lust. That we should live soberly and righteously in this present world. You must forsake sin. If you receive the peculiarity of God. Sin is strange to God. The Bible says he is purer. He has a purer eyes. Cannot even be all sin. Don't expect grace where sin is there. Even flow. There's no way. There are sin abounds. Grace abounds more. Glory to God. I want to put that to seal this teaching. 
So what you are willing to walk away from determines what God will bring to you. Can I repeat? Whatever tonight you decide, man of God, I heard you. I won't watch that thing on TV again. I won't mingle with those people again. I won't do this. Immediately, you see flow into your life what belongs to you. Lift up your hand and let us pray. Say, Father, I thank you tonight. Lord, I'm so grateful. Lord, I'm so grateful. Let's pray Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Say, renew your mind. That's how your will is exercised. When your mind is renewed, you are bold. You are courageous. Hallelujah. Yeah, our pastor, here. Yeah. Bold. Ministries for bold people suffer the weak. And living as a Christian for bold people. Your days of shame, they are over. Your days of humiliation, they are over. Say, everlasting Father, as I renew my mind in the power of your word, I receive strength from tonight to be willing for great accomplishment. Prayer, prayer. I receive grace to be willing. Grace to be willing. Grace to be willing. In the name, play quickly. I want us to pray the second one. And then we close. I believe you are blessed tonight again. Grace to be willing. As I renew my mind. 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 Let's have some three minutes and then we go home. You will find transportation quickly tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. I want us to pray this last one. It's very important. It will affect you throughout the meeting. Throughout the meeting. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Paul, the apostles, apostles say, he said 3, 13 and 14. He said, he said, forgetting that he said, this one thing I do. Can you give me there? Because this word is not allowed me to, to Philippians. I went to Romans. Okay. Do you have it? Okay. He said, brethren, I do not count myself to have arrived. Let me use that word. But one thing, see your finger, say one thing. Forgetting the things behind before this convention. Whatever it is, forget. And reaching forward unto the things I have. See, I press towards the mark. Lift up your hands, everlasting Father. Tonight, I make a choice to forget whatever ugliness of the past, whatever loss of the past, whatever humiliation of the past. Prayer, prayer, in the name of Jesus, prayer, prayer. I make a choice to forget completely. I read Amasa, prayer, prayer. Pray. 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 One thing. Forget. The future is brighter, is better. In Jesus' mighty name. Now pray this after me. Say, as I've forgotten now, I set my will from now to arise and fulfill my destiny. I set my will from now to accomplish the will of God for my life. I set my will from now in faith and in victory. I set my will from tonight to persist until I possess. I will arise. I will press on. Running straight from now towards my goal. You know how to win the prize. Now I set my will finally to walk away from whatever offends you my father. From whatever grips you my father. From whatever hurts you my father. In the name of Jesus, I put a seal on every prayer tonight. And I declare it accepted. I declare it done for you. In the name of Jesus, for the rest of this convention, you will experience arrivals. You will experience good news coming to you from far. You will experience divine interventions. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you.
celebrate.